first thing you need to decide on is what kind of computer you want to use. There are two choices you can make. Will you use a desktop computer with a separate screen or will you use a laptop? Both have advantages. The desktop has more USB connections and more space in it to play some extra drives. But on the other hand, the laptop is portable, so you can easily grab your laptop and record on other locations. If you want to use a desktop, you will probably need around $700, $500 for the PC and $200 for a high definition monitor. The advantage of a desktop is that you can have a much bigger screen because a laptop will have a 17 inch screen and on a desktop you can use a 27 inch or bigger. Of course you can also hook up a 27 inch as a second screen on your laptop, which is actually very handy. Also very important for recording is that some desktops computers make a bit more noise than a laptop because of the cooling fans that cool the processor. But that's only a problem when you record with a microphone. Next you can ask yourself if you really need an Apple Mac to do recordings. Lots of professionals in the recording business prefer the Mac, but my answer is no, you don't need a Mac. I have done all my work on Windows PCs all these years. Most of the software I will talk about is available for both Mac and PC, with just a few exceptions. The advantages of a Windows PC is that the price is much lower than a Mac, and it's much easier to make some hardware changes in your PC. A MacBook with a 15-inch screen will be far above 1000 US dollars, and a laptop with a 17-inch screen with the same disk space will be around 500 US dollars. If you already have a computer, it's okay to check out if you can use this for your recordings. It might be that you can use this computer as the heart of your new big studio, but you definitely need a high definition screen, because there's a lot going on on screen, and your computer has to be a 64-bit system. The graphical card of your computer is not the most important feature for recording audio, so you don't have to get some great specs on that. I recommend that you have at least 8 gig internal memory, but 16 is even better. It allows you to run some extra VSD instrument or effects. A 1 terabyte internal hard disk and an external hard disk to make backups of your first disk. And maybe a wireless mouse would be a good addition, so you have no cables running on your desk. Also, you might need 4 or 5 USB connectors, so you might need a powered USB hub. And of course, you need a place to work, like your bedroom or the attic. A place where you can close the door, so they leave you alone to do your magic on the computer, making your own music. In the text below this video, I made a list which sums up the specifications for your computer, and some interesting links to articles about computers.